Hello everyone, welcome back to Hobby IT. Snipe IT is a free and open source IT asset management application that helps organizations track and manage their IT assets. It is a powerful tool that can be used to track hardware, software, and licenses, as well as to generate reports and manage maintenance. Okay, let's get started. The first step that must be done is we download all the required software. The first After we have successfully downloaded all the necessary sources, the next step is to directly install the applications one by one. Let's follow these steps together. After successfully setting up Snipe IT, the next step is to install Composer. 
The composer function is an application that is used to manage and organize dependencies such as libraries, frameworks, or other packages needed in APHP projects. After completing the Composer installation, the next step is to configure it via the command prompt. Let's follow these steps together carefully. If when installing Composer you encounter a problem like this. Let's follow the steps below to solve it. We only need to edit PHP, any, and remove the hash marks in the following menus. The next step is to create a file with the name .env. For more details, let's follow the steps below. Then the next step is to open the .env file using Notepad. WordPad or Notepad++, then enter the app URL with the name HTTP localhost.
The next step, please type PHP Artisan key, generate, which is a command to generate a random string, which is used as a key needed for all encryption and decryption processes in our application. The next step is to go to your web browser and type localhost myadmin, then add a new database with the following name. If you get a problem like this, the request URL not found. The following is a solution to solve this problem. The next step, we reopen the command prompt. Then type the following script. When we have got the destination development server, the next step, we just replace the destination address in the app URL menu with the IP address that we have obtained, then fill in the username with root. work. If you have reached this step, you are just one step away from getting free asset management application software. Look and make sure all settings are valid checklist, then click next step. The next step is to create a database table. Let's see the results together. All databases have been successfully created.
The final step is to create a site name and fill in the name of the admin user who will access this application. If this step has been completed, the next step is to input asset data into the application. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video is useful. The next video is how to set and input assets in the Snipe IT application. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. To get updates about technology.see you to the next video. Bye bye.